Nightmare of Darkness. Ooh, I wonder what we're doing this mission. If the title is anything to go by- Oh, look, a blue ore fragment. It's so fucking troll, like, you finished, like, on the way here, there's nothing. But as soon as you finish the mission, come back, it's like right there. If you missed the orb, I swear to god, you are fucking blind. <laughs> Whee! See, that's what Stinger is used for. Let's go. I want to get out of this fucking Coliseum, man. I I I don't want to fight him. I just want to go. I think I can go. That's right. Dante. Dante. Hello. Fucking impotent, man. Can you, I? I can't think properly. Ever since the fight. Wait, I don't know where to go. Oh no! I just got the staff of Hermes shit. Right then, I have to go to the um. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. We're done here. We're done here. We're fucking done here. And also, you can read this little thing here, too. Secret dimensions where red orbs hide. If you do something special, or bada bada bum. Wheel of Destiny! I mean, the whole point is like, at first, I'm like, why do we even go to the Coliseum, man? What's the point if we're just gonna come back? It's like, oh, it's to get the staff thing. And then once we get the staff thing, we go to the, uh, you know where the bridge collapsed and then underneath is like that water temple-ish area with the skulls, right? Yeah, that's the area that we want to go to. Yeah, but like what's Trish been doing this entire time, man? He's like, I need your help, Dante. And then she doesn't tell you what she's doing. She doesn't keep track of you. She has like a dramatic like zoom into her face like first thing. Did I already collect it? I think I already did, right? Yeah, no, there's a blue ore fragment in one of the... I think on the right one. Yeah, no. No, that's the first thing I did. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I only picked up, like, 90% of all the blue orbs. If you want the extra 10%, you're gonna have to find it on the internet. I'm sorry. But considering how many yellow orbs I did use... Oh, dude, I used so many on that griffin fight. No, because I, I really fond of using the um, double trigger lightning bolts. Or just lightning, right? That's that's so much slower than just jumping up. Look, that's regular jumping, but if you just jump while you're facing a ledge. It is so slow. Wow. But no, I'm really fond of the lightning bolts, man. But it took me a while to figure out that it was fucking on my camera. But I didn't think it would actually fuck up the camera that much. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Dodge first thing, there we go. Actually, I fucked up. There we go. Because 9 times out of 10, if you hit them with almost anything else... No, I find that, I find that it's random when they split. But then if you hit them with like a melee, you know, even the grenade gun, they do split, I find. But it is a good way to farm them. You know, you just go back in the room. If there's only one guy, you know, attack him, split him, and then go for the Inferno, right? Inferno is almost, if not, always guaranteed to kill. Yeah, this is the room that I was talking- Oh, wow, it is not guaranteed. You know, I really don't know what causes it, man. This is actually not a bad area for farming if you're- Oh, this is bad. Where's the enemy? There's a few rooms in this game. Uh, this is one area that I would farm. This hallway and then the previous room with the plasma guy. Because the plasmas, um, he's always there. These guys, half the time, they don't spawn properly. But the plasma is always there. And if, he, if you can manipulate them or just somehow uh, make them split, right? They do always drop the same amount of orbs, even if they split or not. So the more they split, the more uh, the more time you save from entering the room back and forth, right? Oh, so much stronger. So much stronger. 
Look at that, like, even with, with Devil Trigger, yo, this guy's taking, like, six Inferno to the face, man. No joke. Sometimes, like, the problem with this game is that you can't really... Well, you're not really meant to lock onto an opponent for a long time. You're not meant to battle and duke it out for, like, 60 different attacks or some shit, right? I don't know, the timer disappeared. I mean, I could just leave, but it's it's really fun shooting him. And I kind of just want to sort of get the urge to shoot shit right now that I can't really fight back properly after that Griffin fight. Yeah, and it's different too. There's no door here anymore. And then this used to be where the, uh, the Phantom Chamber was. And it still is, but it's different. That is unnecessary. I mean, oh, oh, okay. This is, um... Okay. I think this is the first nightmare fight, right? Yeah, this is the first nightmare fight. Let's go. I'm ready. One who knocks on the gates of the underworld shall borrow the strength from the blue stone. No. Uh, I mentioned it before, but Devil May Cry 1 definitely has the creepiest enemies of all time. Nightmare isn't so much creepy, it's just like... Who fucking came up with this design, you know what I mean? Oh, that's bad. You know, that's actually not that bad. When he swallows you up like that, you can fight one of three bosses, and I think it depends on which Nightmare you fight. And there are three different Nightmare fights. First one is Phantom, second one will do Griffin, and the third one will be Neil Angelo when you get swallowed. I think. They're a lot dumbed down compared to the versions that you fight in the playthrough. Fuck you. Seriously? And now normally you'd be thinking, oh man, it's such a waste of time, right? Fighting these bosses again. But they do damage, uh, when you finish them, they do damage Nightmare. It does lose, lose a chunk of its HP. And you know the timers, right? Where you have to light them up with like the attacks. It does uh, stay out longer. Or the duration increases because you defeated one of the bosses. I don't want. I don't want to switch this. Oh my god! I just remembered all the the phantom bullshit that I had with the first fight. <laughs> oh, I'm. Oh no! I was thought. I thought I jumped, but I didn't. I don't want to switch into Sparta because I want to keep DT for. Um, it's super important that I don't fucking die here. I can't see if he's doing a double attack. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> I overcommitted into attack there, but I really couldn't see if he was doing a- Oh, come on! Oh, camera angle, you fucking twat, man. That was a bad cycle, I didn't get as much in there. So, Nightmare is a little bit hard to explain, but basically... Shit, no, I really don't know how to explain it. There's different attacks. There's a lot of different attacks that he does. And that's one of them. That happens if you don't light up, I think. And make him... I don't know, like, what's the word? Solidify? Bring out his true form kind of thing? Right? But basically, one of the attacks that you see in is when he does the Ice Blast. Depending on where you are, I, I feel like it is possible to manipulate it. Depending on where you are on his body. Let's say in front of the head, on his back, or the sides, right? He'll do different attacks. No, the, uh... Can't see. If you interrupt him, even if he does get a shot out there, it completely removes the uh, projectile, which is nice. I'm being really, I'm being really stupid right now because I'm still trying to explain, um... Nightmare properly. Jesus, there we go. Lost a lot more HP than I would have liked, but I think I'm trying too much to... Or too hard to try and explain the, um, the fight. I think I'll just try to show it. My attention span is a little bit all over the place right now. Good. And as you can see, instead of white, it's yellow now, so it does last longer. Which is good. Good, good, good.
the best nightmare attack that you want to get out is the ice blast in my opinion because this one right they, that, that does a stupid amount of damage but the orb that you need to hit when it reveals itself it doesn't last too long compared to the ice blast which can last anywhere between like five to ten seconds 30 even right This is bad. This, yeah, that's one of the attacks that he has, where he shoots out a bunch of these projectiles, right? Sometimes it's better to be safe and get like a quick hit in and then move on. Also, I do not have my grenade gun. Grenade gun, if you can kite it, you will get a lot of DT back, even if you're not doing damage necessarily. Like that, for example. And I can't see shit right now. <laughs> I think the biggest enemy in this game is honestly the camera angle. Can go on the side. There we go. He's freaking out a little bit. Oh, that's really nice. I just noticed because I because I'm jumping right. It I attack the um the shit. I I didn't do anything there. I'm trying to manipulate. I'm trying to I'm trying to force him to do the ice blast. Oh. But basically, the Icicle attack is the one I usually try to go for because I feel like it's easier to just go around, uh, land on its head, and then just whack him until the attack runs out. But the other thing that I could try is um, deflecting the tentacles, which I never actually tried. It's always scary. Like, if you mistime the attack or jump, you're, like, fucking losing half your HP. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. What the fuck? Oh my god, video game, please. Let's just go for boss, man. Raises the timer. And I kind of have to redeem myself against Phantom. I don't know, like, this guy just gives me so much trouble. He's, he's not a hard boss. Like, you just don't do stupid shit. That's all you do. Oh, hello. Hello, Jimmy Neutron. Hello. You can do Efrig, you can do Alistair, you can do whatever. I just like doing Efrig because the charge attacks seem more satisfying to go for. No, but you definitely want to get the boss um, cycles. If you can. I just can't see what attack he's doing. There we go. I didn't get the Inferno attack in there, but it's okay, it's okay. Still got good enough damage from the regular ships. No, I think it's random. I think it is random, but it feels like you're manipulating it, right? Look, another Ice Blast because I was near its head. Maybe not the same thing twice, you know? And then he has the little orbs out again. No, this is, I don't know what he's doing. This is bad. Oh, that's bad. Yo, they go through the fucking thing? What? Since when? What the hell? If I can't go through it, why, why can't he go through it? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Bullshit. The first hit doesn't hit that. It's just like... That's really weird. The angle... We go ice blast. Oh, uh, landing on it is so finicky, man. Double trigger, let's go. Well, I just ate a bunch of extra hits in there for no apparent reason. Just get some double trigger back up. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. That's all I'm doing right now. And then a little taunt in there, get some more DT back on, boom. No, Nightmare, if you know his cycles and just know his patterns, it's not a super difficult boss. The problem is there's just a ton of shit on screen and the camera angle fights against you. 
Phantom does a lot of damage per hit, but not necessarily... Yeah. Good, not bad. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not worth it at this point. I don't think that was worth it. Or the, um, going for the boss fight, I should say. I don't even know if he does it at the same time. There's one attack Nightmare has, which I don't think he does in Nightmare 1. Hopefully we get to see it in Nightmare 2. I think he does it in Nightmare 2, but it's possibly the worst attack you get. Oh, no, you gotta be careful. You have to stay on top because he spins around like a retard. I can't get it in the cycle. Not enough damage. No way. It's because I fucked up there by accident. What's he doing? What's he doing? <sighs> no. There were like little beam trails of ice or like the laser shit. I think that's what was hitting me. I don't know. I never noticed that. But at the same time too, if I was a little bit lower in height and I didn't pop in my um, I would have got hit by the uh the thing. Wait, I thought that's what I do. Oh, I go here. That's right. Because it's open now. <laughs> Every single time, man. Every single time. The easiest way is to honestly just devil trigger and then um, do the spiral attacks, but I like going down here because... Uh, you can kill these guys and get health orb. So that is my purpose right now. But you do lose health underwater, so I'm gonna try to kill them really fast. No, I fucking hate this. No, 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 no. There we go. It's kind of worth it. You can keep doing it until you're full health. Almost. And then you're automatically on the other side too, right? Hello? Oh, no. I, I, I don't remember the order of things. Yeah! Like, seriously, where has he been hiding that the entire time? But the nightmare fight was a little bit sloppy. I wish I could have done it a little bit better. 21 minutes! It could have been like 10, easily. You know, it was funny the first time, D for Dante, but now it's like, D for Dick. You know? Oh, D for Dante must die mode, I get it. They want me to die, I get it. I love this mission, I really do. It's the third and final time we fight Neil Angelo in this game. He has a lot of cool attacks. That we'll get to witness that he hasn't done in New Little Angel fights one and two. Now this next area. I don't have a lot of DT though. When you're playing casually and you come here for the first time, you're like, yo, this area is pretty cool, man. But the next enemies are like probably even cooler. Dodge right away. No, I try, try dodging. I just, I'm, I'm, re I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, I, I only got one of them. It's not the grenade gun. I thought I had the grenade gun. What the hell? Oh, I needed the shotgun for the, the skull dudes. That's right. I think there's four of these frosts that you have to go through, but um, it's not bad. If you have Inferno and DT, just burst them through. And I think there's one more. Yep. Yeah. Managed to hit him at least. And then a few shots of the grenade gun should do it. No. But these were the other enemies that I was talking about that translated over to um, Devil May Cry 4. The... They carry... Like the design of these enemies, they carried it really well into the newer generation. Or like for its time. Like they look really cool now, but they also look just as cool in Devil May Cry 4. 
Oh, this is bad. When you're shooting the grenade gun, you always want to be roll canceling or jumping. Because the recovery frames on the, um... Just a regular shot without cancel takes way too long. And by frames, I mean just like recovery. More like a fighting game term, actually. No, they're too far. They all spawn at the end of the hallway. This isn't a bad place to farm either. They all spawn relatively here, so. Two shots, right? With DT. And I think timer is down too, so I think I've killed the necessary amount to go through, but I don't know. It's just really fun, just... It's like the um, the sniper in Devil May Cry 3. The rocket isn't too fun because it's limited in range, but the sniper canceling it in and out with the uh, Ebony and Ivory. Oh, hopefully I get to show it, and I will show it when we get Devil May Cry 3. It's satisfying, man. This gun is so satisfying in this game. And that's all of them. Hey man, I thought this was a walkthrough. And it's like, no. Basically, to beat DMD, just get good. Honestly. Nope. <laughs> this doesn't this doesn't nearly do as much damage as Phantoms. But it's supposed to kinda tell you the projectiles that Phantom shoots are reflectable. But I'm just fucking garbage at timing, man. You gotta do it three times. I think. There we go. Then you go over to this little thingy. Just keep spinning around and around and make sure you don't go in another direction. Just keep spinning around and around until your thumbs get tired. Also, make sure to go up here into this little balcony porch area. Jump up. Blue orb. Would have been blue orb. Then you want to go here. Oh my god, it's a full walkthrough. It's like, oh yeah, you want to do this. You want to grab this item. You want to not be such a fucking retard. <laughs> Sorry. And just skip the last platform with Stinger. It's also possible to do the lunges in the other games too. I use it a lot in uh, Devil May Cry 3. Full HP, good. Gonna need it for the next fight. Boss fight coming up soon too. A lot of the enemies in this game have a tendency to attack you even if the camera's not facing in your direction. So just kinda like knock them away with a grenade gun, which is guaranteed knockback unless you have Devil Trigger. Right? Just go through. This is gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass, but let's go. Let's go. A lot of people like to use Ifrit because there's a sort of a a lockdown you can do. But not me. You've arrived, my brother. I wonder who that is. It doesn't look like Virgil. It does not look like Virgil, man.
I'll just do four cycles and move on with it. Oh. Oh yeah, combos. He's got combos. Don't be stupid. He's got combos. I'm being stupid. He's got combos. Oh. Oh, uh, DMD is so different. You know, I could just use Sparta. Sparta is the run. No, I need DT. I need DT for one of his phases. I need the extra um, movement speed. Almost half HP. Not there yet. Just one more hit. That's less than half though. He should be doing something now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, here we go. Oh god, no, that is a full... I, I, I couldn't really... Shit. Uh, the camera angle is so wonky there. Why would you ever go in there? Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm being dumb. Just take the win. Take the win, brother. Take the win. Oh, oh what the hell? Ugh, oh, big mistake. I popped in DT after, so it didn't even matter. What? What the hell? Okay, the heart... Oh, wow. No, no, it's... Okay, okay, okay. I... Okay. What you can do with Ifrit is, um, or when he's guarding with his sword up, you can do a fully charged attack and then break his guard. Yeah, that's when you want to do a fully charged shot, but I mistimed the shit there. Well, whoa! He, wow, okay, yeah, no, I gotta time it better. Nope. <laughs> no, but you kind of you kind of see my point, right? If I do one, two into the uh, kick, and then hit him again, that next hit. Oh, these guys are so fucking scary. These guys are so fucking creepy, man. We could just do that. It does use a lot of DT, but it's not bad. Wow, that is the strongest attack I've ever seen in this game. More than 1.5 bars of health, yo. That is stupidly strong, what the hell? I, I, had, I had a tempo there that I probably could have kept on doing. Thanks, Virgil. I mean, I mean, Neil Angelo. I mean, Neil Angelo. We're just gonna go Sparta this time. What are you doing? Of course, when I go Sparta, he's like, "Yo, I sense the power."
No. Sparta isn't the run. I tried, guys. I tried. I really did. Oh, I can't react to that. If I had double jump, I could, like, sort of stay in the air longer and, you know, try dodging it. But I only have one jump, so I have to time it with my life. Wow, that's... Wow. I feel so bad right now. Not really. Oh, wow, that one fucking telegraphed itself to my face. <laughs> the sway! Yo, he got some swag, man! Virgil, what are you- I mean, Neilo Angelo, we don't know who you are. Pfft. He uses a special displacement method to instantaneously to move from one place to another. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got the timing now. No. Nope. I tried to see if I could just keep spamming it, but he attacks faster. <laughs> he attacks so much faster. If I lose all my yellow orbs, I will have to restart. This is boring. If I do this all game, it's so boring. Oh my god. I'm not doing it. Virgil, what are you doing? I mean, I mean, Neil and Angela, what are you doing? Wow. No, I am doing e -fray, but if I do Devil Trigger and I do the kick, you get the full flurry. But that used a lot of DT. Infernal does good amount of damage, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna try to test something real quick. What? I don't know what I was doing. When I played DMD for the first time, I think I died to Neil Angelo a good 40 times with a couple of resets in there because I didn't have enough uh, yellow orbs. What the f Fuck off, fuck off. Oh god, there's still one more sword out there. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh god, that is nerve-wracking. <laughs> as soon as you get here, the camera goes this way. It's like, it's so fucking retarded. You can even fight him up here. Why the hell would you ever want to fight him up here? Oh, the swords are gone. I guess it's because he did the fireball. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, I thought they all disappeared because like, I don't know, camera angle, I can't see. This is fun. This is really fun. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning so much from this guy. Wow. Took that to the face. No regrets. Uh, we're gonna use Force Edge. Fuck it. It might be the run, man. It might save the run. The default weapon. Nope. Wow. He learned a thing from me, man. Oh, that one sword. That one sword. That one sword is gonna be the death of me, dude. No, go away. Go away. What the fuck, man? Go away. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh, seriously, man. What did you eat this morning? Why are you so cranky? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I gotta scratch my nose. One second. Every attempt, I try to do it as if it was my last. There's no point. Yo, I'm gonna have no yellow orbs for Mundus. I'm gonna have to like reset the game so many times. Wow, this guy is like King Alon from Demon Souls. Oh my god. Does like six extra dashes for no apparent reason. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Just the attack that I didn't want. Wow, thanks. Wow, thanks, Virgil. 
There has, there really has to be an easier way to take out the swords, man. Nope, that didn't do shit. You know what? Fuck you. Just fuck you, man. Oh, Jesus! Is he shooting a fireball or what? What the hell? No, I, I thought he was doing a different attack. I honestly thought he was going to do a different attack. No, Nightmare doesn't seem to be too bad against the um, swords. But I think... I don't I don't really think there is a way to fully get rid of them. Maybe the handgun? I don't know. I guess I'll try... Pff, I'm not trying it. Fuck, I'm, I'm staying still. I'm staying still. Fuck you. Oh, is that how you dodge it? Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> Uh. Please don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> I'm like figuring this shit out now, man. What the hell? Yo, the foot. What, what the? Dude, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Fucking hell had it. Did I not jump out of the way? <laughs> Hello, iframes? Side hop? Yo, I'm gonna have to restart. Oh man. Oh man, that's so many deaths, dude. Oh. I, I, I fucking love this fight, though. Even from behind? Okay. Wow. I got hit by the exact same thing two times in a row. This is it. If I fail this one, then well, GG. Fuck it. If I'm gonna go out, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with the bang. Well, that's the bang. That's the bang and buck. This is what happens when you run out of yellow orbs. And you have no choice but to start from a new... It's not even the checkpoint. Restart the mission. Load save file. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Fucking Griffin made me lose like 20 of my orbs, man. It's just a time killer, really. Because I got to go through the stage all over from the beginning. Fuck. Well, after the reset, sadly, the enemies in the hallway managed to get a few hits on me. But we do have 18 yellow orbs, so let's go. Wow. Oh, this guy needs to get fucking laid, bro. Ooh, what? Did I just deflect the fucking... Oh... I... I... Uh, no, why am... I don't know. It's easy to blame the game. It really is. This is a good run. <laughs> That's a lot of deaths. That's a lot of deaths, man. Did I just jump on his head? I guess I did. I didn't even know you could do that.
Well, there goes my perfect. I wish that would have been a perfect round, but I mean, at the same time, I did die more than 20 times. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, that's hard, man. I got lucky. He didn't do the spiral swords a lot. He didn't do the uh, airborne phase. He only did it like twice. See, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3 have a bad case of his hair covering his eyes. Devil May Cry 3 has it the worst, though. Trish, Virgil has been defeated. You know what you must do. Now go. Yes, master. Yo, where the fuck are the subtitles, man? Yo, I put on the subtitles because I talk half the time. 20 minutes plus the extra 30 from the previous. <laughs> Dude, it's like, honestly, this mission took me like 50 minutes, probably an hour. Jesus, man. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to the store and buy all the yellow orbs that I can. I'm gonna buy them, man. It's the only item that I really need. <laughs> I don't want to restart a mission. It's such a waste of fucking time, man. <laughs> 